Hello, this is Andy from VPN Mentor and in this video I'll be giving you a quick overview of private VPN. So I'll see how fast this VPN is, I'll also test how good they are at unblocking Netflix and I'll also assess how good their customer support is. So if we take a look at Private VPN's homepage, we can see that they pride themselves on being able to offer unlimited bandwidth and speed. So no matter what you're doing online, you should expect the highest speeds available. They also use all the common protocols with strong and high-end encryption methods. And to maintain user privacy, they state that they don't keep any user data logs at all. So this is a plus if you're a very privacy conscious user. And they also claim to allow anonymous torrenting and peer-to-peer -peer traffic on a few servers. Now, like many providers, Private VPN offer three different pricing plans, consisting of a one month, one year, and a three month plan. They offer a high discount on the one year plan, and they also offer a seven day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with their service, simply request a refund within seven days, and they should honor your request. And I'll be testing this out a little bit later, so do keep watching for that. But first, let me draw your attention to a great way you can save money when purchasing a VPN. By going to vpnmentor.com, you can receive significant discounts and coupons on a whole range of VPNs out there. So if you're still hunting for a VPN provider, then you must check out this discount page. You really can save yourself a lot of money and a lot of time when searching for a VPN provider. Okay, so now back to the pricing page where I'm going to select the one month plan just for this demonstration. I'm choosing to pay by PayPal, but you have a choice of using your credit card or if you want to maintain your privacy throughout the payment process, you can choose Bitcoin. Now, once you've made it through the payment process, you'll be taken to the download page. There are setup guides for Linux, Androids, routers, or connecting to the service using proxies. Depending on your operating system, you'll have the option to download their native app for iOS, Mac OS X, or Windows or you can configure the VPN using third-party software. As I'm using a Mac, I could download their private VPN app. However, it requires an OX version of at least 10.10, .10, but just now I'm using an older version, so I'm going to actually use some third-party software. So I'll head to their setup guide and proceed with this. So in order to get going, I will have to download a third-party OpenVPN software called Viscosity. And I downloaded this earlier on, it was very quick to download and very easy to install. So having completed that, it was time to head to the last step, which was to download the configuration files. And these were held in a zip file. So simply unzip them and head to viscosity and click on the plus icon on the lower left. Here you'll be able to select the folder containing the configuration files. And then once you've done that, just click open. And here you can see that they have a wide range of servers. They have a total of 38 in 30 different countries. So let's quickly connect to one of the servers just to see that it works. The username is your email address and to set your password you'll be given a link to do so by email. Here you can see we're timing the connection. So it's extremely quick, just about 5 seconds. But right now, I'm just going to terminate this connection because I'm going to do some tests now. To disconnect, just go up to the toolbar and select the server that's already connected. And just to show you that I'm not using a VPN, this is my normal IP address based in the UK. So before I actually test the VPN, I'm actually going to test my IP speed. But as I'm not using a VPN, it should be quite fast. So I have a ping of 60 milliseconds, a download speed of 31.80 megabytes per second, and an upload speed of 15.03 megabytes per second. Now let's head over to Netflix, where I'm gonna search for a film that's generally not available in the UK, but is available in the US. So this is Enemy of the State, and as you can see, it shows me no results whatsoever. And so to access this film in the UK, I'll need a US IP address. So let's go ahead and connect to a US server. So I'm gonna choose Los Angeles for this quick demonstration. And just to show you that I am connected to the VPN, here you can see my new IP address. And just before we head back to Netflix, let me just do a quick speed test. So I have a ping of 355 milliseconds with this VPN, 
a download speed of 9.84 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 0 0.30. So this has actually slowed down my internet connection quite dramatically. And as you might remember, I had a download speed of over 30 megabytes per second and an upload speed of 15 megabytes per second. However, let's find out how much this affects me unblocking Netflix. So here I am once again in the US catalogue and I'm going to search for Enemy of the State. So this time it's showing up for me, so let's see if I can actually play it. But unfortunately I'm getting the infamous Netflix error message. So what I'm going to do is head over to the support page on Private VPN. So I'm going to see what help is at hand. There are no live chat support options unfortunately, but I'm going to see how helpful they are by emailing them now, telling them that I cannot access Netflix. So having messaged them, they did get back to me within 24 hours, providing me with a link to their FAQ page. So here they tell me that I actually have a choice of two US servers. As you can see here, it's either Buffalo or New York City. So if I head back to the VPN program and select one of these, I was using Los Angeles before, but I'm gonna select Buffalo here. And once again, if we try and play Enemy of the State, unfortunately, I'm getting the same error message once again. But if I quickly switch to the New York server, will I have any more luck? Well, unfortunately, both of those servers have failed to unblock Netflix, which is not what I would expect after having support tell me which servers to use. So perhaps it's just my connection and maybe other users are having more luck than me. But anyway, I'm going to move on to the next stage and I'm going to show you how to unsubscribe. So if you want your money back, you have seven days to do this. So simply head back to your private VPN account. Strangely, you won't find a link to cancel your account, but instead you'll have to do the legwork by contacting support yourself to ask for a refund. They did reply to me and ask me for a reason for cancelling, but they were also happy to proceed with giving me my money back. And here's the reply I received from support. And I'm pleased to say that they will refund my money within five business days. So overall, I feel that Private VPN probably could have done a better job at unblocking Netflix. Their suggestions didn't actually work for me. However, it could have just been my connection or maybe Netflix have tightened their security and blocked this VPN. Also, I felt their server's speed was a little bit slower than what I would expect. Although, they did respond to me quite promptly when I needed support and they gave me my money back guarantee. So if you'd like to find out more about Private VPN or any other VPN on the market, then head to vpnmentor.com and you'll be able to read a wealth of information from both experts and all the users who have submitted their opinions. Also, you can even take advantage of some generous discounts that can save you a huge amount of money. So, as always, we would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to like and share this video with anyone who you think could possibly do with some more online privacy. So, thanks for watching.